This morning, you may notice the state fairgrounds will be a little quieter. Yeah, that's intentional. Organizers this year have brought back the sensory friendly morning. It's all geared towards a ch a children and adults with autism or sensory processing disorders. Local 5's Larissa Millis is live at the state fairgrounds this morning to give us uh, a look at this, how this all works and the importance behind it this morning. Uh, Larissa, you've been speaking to those behind this and they're telling you about just why this is so needed. Yeah, good morning, guys. It is sensory friendly morning today at the fair. It's going to be happening from about 8 a.m. when the gates open till about noon. So with sensory friendly morning, this is the second year that the fair is doing this. It started last year as a way to kind of make the fairgrounds a little bit more inclusive for, you know, kids and adults who experience things like autism or sens sens sensory um, disorders where bright lights, loud noises, things like that can be kind of overwhelming and overstimulating. So the goal of this morning is really to sort of lower some of those stimulants and make the space just a really easy, accessible place for people like that to walk through, experience sort of all those different kinds of activities. We are in the garden right now, which is near the Animal Learning Center. This is going to be a big spot for Sensory Friendly Day. There's going to be lots of activities that people can participate in here and throughout the rest of the fair as well. We're going to be talking more with some of the people behind Sensory Friendly Day to learn a little bit more about what's going to be going on here today. And Larissa, I know you chatted with uh, some of the people behind it a little bit earlier today. Did they tell you just why they are so motivated to do something like this and why inclusivity is important for the fair? Yeah, they just want to make the fair a really accessible place for everybody. And sometimes that means modifying things so that people who don't necessarily experience everything the same way can have an enjoyable experience as well. Because, of course, they want to make sure everybody can come to the Iowa State Fair and have a really good time. And, uh, you know, you, you talked to them about how last year was the first year they did this and this year they brought it back. What was the motivation behind bringing it back for a second year? How was it received last year? They said it was received really, really well and seeing the excitement from people, especially, you know, kids who experience some of those sensory um, issues, really getting to have fun at the fair. They said that reaction made it all worth it and yeah. was a big motivation behind bringing it back this year. Yeah, I remember last year when they first uh, started doing this. I covered it last year and yeah, received very, very well. So thank you, Larissa. We'll check back in with you in a little bit here.